Welcome to Technique Friday with Els. Today I'm going to show you a card featuring the romantic bouquet die from Moda Scrap. I'm going to make a simple card. I didn't add any sentiments because I really want you to be able to kind of envision who you're going to send it to because it can be for a birthday, can be for a wedding, can be for any occasion. So this is the card and this is the die that I'm using. So this is the romantic bouquet die and it's a gorgeous die. And the background paper here I'm using is the Fly and Scrap from Moda Scrap. So I'm going to flip through it quickly. Look at that. It's just absolutely, oh, I love this one. Look at that with the lines. I absolutely love this paper. It's gorgeous. Feathers, and then you have a general one, and this is the one I'm using today. That just has a, a whole bunch of different colors on there. So let me put that aside. So I'm going to die cut this die for you to show you how beautiful it cuts. So I have a piece of cardstock and I just line it up like this. And then I'm going to take a piece of tape to hold it in place. Removable tape, of course. Then I'm going to put it in here. And I have to say, these plates are like worn out almost. But Jackie, who uses this machine, turns it over all the time. And that's why they keep stay flat. I'm very impressed with that. I'm going back as well, just in case. And then I'm going to see, and because I, look at that, you see the pieces fall out? Look at that, it's beautiful. So I'm going to put my big shot away, take off the tape. You see it almost drops out right away. And then you just take your, and you can either t use this, or I use my fine pointed trees and just poke out the pieces. But do you see how beautiful that comes out of the die? Just poke out those little pieces. It's just gorgeous. And this one doesn't have like, um, this die doesn't have a side, a side flap. So basically you can make your own side flap if you want to make it into a, an envelope. And I know Kiara herself made a beautiful sample, like, uh, so only this at the bottom of a piece of uh, cardstock. And then the menu for a wedding, like, is on top here. Gorgeous. Need to make a sample like that. So what I'm going to do first, I'm going to edge the card. Because this is a color soft finish and it has like a white inside. So I'm just edging, adding some. Distress ink and the color I'm using here is the Dusty Concord. I'm going to add a little bit of ink to these pieces as well. So this is the white soft finish and I'm just, I only want a little bit of color. So I'm, I'm holding it like, like this and not like this because then you get too much color on the white paper. And I don't want that in this case. And then I'm going to edge this a little bit as well. See that paper, how beautiful, like the, I would call it like marbling almost. It's gorgeous. Close this. And then I can start putting my card together. So I add the Y to the card first. Using our clear double-sided adhesive. And of course this, it tears really easy. Just going to center this. And this card is five by seven, so it's a larger card. Then I'm going to put this on here. So I'm taking the tiny tape here because that goes just around the edge here. So this is the three millimeter one, or an eighth of an inch, I think. And by using this uh, thin uh, tape, it also, um, kind of makes a pocket, leaves it as a pocket. So if you want to put something in there, you can do that as well. And this, so I use color here, but you can imagine uh, just in white, all white, this will be really pretty as well. Okay, this side or this side, I think in this case, I'm going to let that blue purple stick out a little bit. So just put it down and start in the corner. There you are, so that's your piece. You see, so this is now a pocket as well. So if you want to, you can put something in there. And then I'm going to use some 3D foam tape for the back. 
And I, as you know by now, maybe I like simple cards as well. So some cards are more a work and it's very relaxing to do. And sometimes you need a card that needs to be done in 10 minutes. And that's what this one is. If I can line it up well, here we go. And then I'm going to add a few rhinestone or pearls here. So I can just take this off. I have one in the center here. One here. And one here. And then we're done. Look at that, how gorgeous, see? just really really pretty thank you for watching uh, don't forget to subscribe and download the project sheet and I've also suggested a couple of videos I think you enjoy see you next time